Stay wavy TV. I hope y'all stay wavy out there. Let's get it. Now, as y'all seen in the video, um, you know, a female fitness trainer, she was in the gym getting it in, having a workout session. She was recording herself. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, she was in there basically just in grind mode. You know what I'm saying? Handling her business, having a great workout. And um, a man that was working out in the gym with her, um, you know, he's seen her working out. And I think he was saying to her that, um, he saw that she looked a little bit uncomfortable, so he got a mat and brought it over to her and he was basically attempting to put the mat um, underneath her so she can feel more comfortable while she's working out. And, you know, he was basically just being a gentleman. And, you know, instead of this woman saying thank you and accepting the offer and just, you know, letting him put the mat there. Um, she basically told him, you know, she wasn't interested in him doing that. Now, she wasn't. Now, I'm going to keep it real, right? Because, you know, when you do red pill videos like this, female nature videos, a lot of times you have guys that just 100 percent bash the woman. Right. But let's keep it real, y'all. Um, you know, she basically told the man, um, you know, I'm not interested, but thank you. I appreciate it. But I'm good. And, um, you know, she even told him to put the mat where it was where it was at in the first place. You know what I'm saying? But what bothers me is, why does she have to post this video on Twitter and call the man weird? She called this man weird, and she said that this man made her feel uncomfortable. And that, in my opinion, is disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Because she tried to make it seem like this man was a creep. You know what I'm saying? She basically said on Twitter that she felt uncomfortable because the man was first of all she said he tried to shove a mat underneath her and that's not what he did if you guys watch the video this man did not try to shove the mat underneath her he put the mat next to her right and was telling her hey i got a mat for you um i see you look a little bit uncomfortable near, near your ankles you know I, I brought this mat over for you so you can be more comfortable working out so for this woman to say that he tried to shove a mat underneath her and he made her feel uncomfortable and he was invading her privacy space. Ma'am, you're in a gym working out with other people. OK, if you feel like he was invading your private space, you can work out at home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Guys, you have to understand something. When you go to a gym, you're going to work out with other people. Right. That's just like if you want to use a specific machine and somebody's already using it. Would you go up to the, the manager of the gym and say, hey, that person's invading my, my privacy space because I was using a machine and they walked up and asked me if, if I'm done, if I'm almost done using it. Come on, guys. If you watch the video, this man, he didn't invite, he didn't invade her, her private space. He was being a gentleman, walked over, right, put the mat on the side of her and said, hey, I brought this mat for you. I see you look a little bit uncomfortable. Just wanted to give you this mat so you can feel more comfortable working out. And instead of her just taking it for what it is and just move on, right? She tried to, she tried to make it seem like this man was trying to holler at her and flirt with her and get her number. And, 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 and she's making it seem like this man basically went out of his way to make her feel uncomfortable to the point where she's calling this guy a creep and she's calling him weird and saying he tried to shove the mat. And the hypocrisy about this is this, right? A lot of women these days, you constantly hear women talking about how men don't approach them in person anymore, right? A lot, you know, we're living in a social media age where, you know, most men approach women through social media. You jump in their DM, whether it's on Instagram, Twitter, or you might match up with them on Tinder. 
You don't see a lot of guys actually walking up to women in person these days and talking to them. The only time you really see that is um, when they work at the same job and they're co-workers. That's really the only time you see guys going out their way to try to talk to chicks. You don't you don't see men approaching women at the mall or in random stores because um, number one, because of social media, you don't have to do it anymore. And number two, um, the feminist movement and the Me Too movement is so strong to where, you know, women can say anything makes them feel uncomfortable. And what they do is they take situations that's not that serious and they'll try like situations like this in this video where they try to make you seem like a creep for just being a gentleman. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, you know, and I hate to say this, but, you know, um, for some reason um, with, you know, black women. Right. Um, and this is no disrespect to black women. But when you're dealing with black women, um, you know, black women, um, you know, they're very nowadays a lot of them they want to be alpha females right and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with being an alpha female but a lot of black women um they're alpha females and their mindset is i have a good job i'm single i don't need no man i don't need no man to take care of me and i believe that's what this woman is in this video she's a, a trainer she's an alpha female and she feels like I don't need no man putting no mat underneath me to feel more comfortable. I can get it myself. And the problem with that is, is when you're when you when you're an alpha female and you're masculine and you're, you're trying to basically do the same thing that a man does. A lot of men find that unattractive. And that's why you see so many black men these days dating outside their race. That's why you see so many black guys dating white girls, Hispanic girls. Indian girls, you know what I'm saying? Because those women are more feminine and nicer than black women are black. And, and that's why you see a lot of black chicks with thugs. Pookies and Ray Rays, you know what I'm saying? Dudes like Ghost from Power, dudes like uh uh Future and, and you know street niggas. Let's just call it what it is, you know what I'm saying? And it's sad that we're living in a time where you can't even be a gentleman to wear you can't do what this guy did in the video and just ask this woman, hey, I got this map for you. Do you want it? You know, and, you know, she's taking a situation like that and making it seem like this guy's a creep, like he was trying to go out of his way to make her feel uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, to the fellas out there watching this video, man, um, you know, you got to be careful when it comes to approaching women in person these days. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, if you're going to approach a woman and try to talk to her, bruh, you know, if there's <laughs> if there's any situation to where they could possibly claim you made them feel uncomfortable, just don't do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? You better off just, you know, uh, going to the mall or going to a social environment or a social setting. Um, you know what I'm saying? But places like the gym, bro, where people are working out, you know, you got to be real careful with approaching females at the gym because, you know, they quick to say you made them feel uncomfortable. They might have a boyfriend that's in the gym that you don't know about. You don't know. And, you know, you can end up like this guy. They can end up recording the whole situation. And now everybody thinks you're a creep. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this is female nature at its finest right here, fellas. You know what I'm saying? This is into the ladies watching this video. This is why a lot of dudes aren't approaching women in person no more. They don't want to deal with this type of shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But let me know what y'all think about this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Wavy. Stay Wavy out there. Let's get it.